Hey guys, it's me Matan here. I've got a new AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Gordon from Typhoon Systems will be doing the test and review of the new AMD. We'll show you how it looks up against the Intel. So watch till the end of the video to not miss out on any cool benchmarks and cool information about the new AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Hi guys, Gordon here, Typhoon Systems. Everybody's all excited all around the world for it because Ryzen range has brought uh, great performance in productivity as well as gaming to a wide range of people. Not only do you have a PC that you just play games on, you just contact with it. Ryzen gives you the option. I have one example of it right over here. This guy over here is my revamp to model which usually I started off below 2K FGD. This particular example here has been outfitted with uh, an RTX 2070 from Galax, 16 gigs of G Skill Sniper X 3200 CL16. All of it sitting on a MSI D450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. Now, the of the show is what is sitting right under here AMD Ryzen 5 3600. One thing as a point of reference. When the first gen Ryzen 5 1600 actually tends to score slightly below 1002, the Ryzen 5 2600 on X tends to score a little bit below 1.3 With that as a frame of reference, so just remember gen 1.2, second gen 1.3. We're gonna run Cinebench R15 a couple of times to so get a more accurate result. So let's do let's go for first run. It's a lot faster than his predecessors already. Yeah, so it scores 1566. Yeah. Scary part is that uh, yeah, if you look right above here, you see Mr. 1800X. That was the top end Ryzen first gen CPU. Yeah, he's just sits slightly below that, and this is at stock speed, mind you. So he only lags a little bit behind. 2700X. He takes the i7-8700 for joyride. I don't have the results for i7-9700K here at stock. See, in most online reviews, this is generally what the 700K would score at stock. What you basically have here is something that performs like an uh, Intel Core i7-9700K at significantly cheaper. Let's do another run. Okay, so yeah. That's a Cinebench R15 for you. So how far we're gonna overclock? And overclocking this guy may probably be the subject of another video. But for now, if you were to get this machine from me, the stock cooling, this is the performance you're gonna get. That's the part that I think a lot of you have more curious about. How does Ryzen 5 3600 okay, in gaming? A little bit of uh, context into this. The Ryzen 1st gen and 2nd gen always lag behind the Intel See if third gen makes for more equal. Yes, uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Division 2 settings are at 1080p Ultra. This thing has been turned off. Let's uh, run the benchmark. This is an RTX 2070, by the way. If some of you are wondering why not a 2080 Ti, if you're gonna buy a Ryzen 5 or an Intel Core i5, it's a pretty good chance that you, as an average consumer, will probably pair it with a mid to high tier graphic card like the 2070 I have here from Galax. I would rather do a benchmark where it's realistic, more down to a more like what my customers would probably be. Let it run for a fair bit. PS average of 94. As you can see, GPU usage, it's uh, maxing out the RTX 2070. Now you can see all the specs down here. Windows 10, 3600, 16 gigs of RAM, 3070. And you have about 52% CPU usage. Here comes the question, does this stand against an i5? So I have taken a screenshot from a benchmark I did earlier with an Intel Core i5-8400. Since everything being the same, the exact same pair of RAM, exact same GPU, exact same X SSD, the only difference being the CPU and obviously the motherboard. Uh, in the case of this set, it's the MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. In the case of the Intel Core i5-8400, it's the MSI B360 ITX motherboard. For the results, does about 91 FPS. GPU usage is of course about 95%. Error, but your CPU usage is at 74%. Basically, means is that your six core six threads on the i5 average usage is about 74%. We move over here to the 3600. Slightly better performance, you get 94 FPS, you get 
98% GPU usage, so 95 and 98 is within margin of error. But what strikes as very interesting here is your CPU usage which sits at about 52%. At first glance, they, they both run the same. What the heck is the difference between 91 and 94 frames per second? The 3600 shows its strength is actually when you compare this and this. Why does CPU usage during your gameplay matter? Most people don't just play games on their set. Look at yourself as a typical gamer. What do you probably have running on your nice little corner? You probably have Discord. Maybe on another screen, you probably have 20, 30 tabs of Chrome open. So, but some other things running in your background, iTunes, your Spotify, whatever takes your fancy. Nobody runs their games in a vacuum anymore. It's this aspect where 600 is 12 threads versus the i5. 6 threads. Okay, very handy. Of course, 3600 is less likely to be bottlenecked. Something to think about. Don't look at just gaming benchmarks for the PC usage, it's never that simple. The new AMD Ryzen 5 looks cool, doesn't it? Let me know if you can upgrade to this CPU in the comment sections below. There will be more such new AMD Ryzen 5 videos coming up soon, so make sure to check out my channel to know when I put up such new videos. In the meantime, you can check out my latest upload or my current videos in my tech and fitness playlist. Make sure to click on the eye icon to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to know when I put up new videos. It's Raymond Tan, out.